Hello guys, let's talk about Git version control. And in this specific video, I want to target junior developers who are first time team members. It's a pretty typical situation I've seen in my career when onboarding various team members and juniors specifically. So what happens when the person learns how to code, their first job is usually within a team and they've learned how to write code, but they haven't learned how to commit all of that, the branching, working on different features simultaneously, working on the same feature with another team member, what to commit, what not to commit. And a lot of situations occur when working with version control, working in a team. So in this video, I will talk about various typical scenarios and typical tricky situations I've seen in my career for myself and for other developers. And we start with just creating the repository with branches. And this video will be actually a few parts series. I'm not even sure how many parts there will be because I've shot 10 minutes of how to set up the repository with all the details and I see that it's already getting longer. So in this first part, how to set up the repository with branches and how to commit your first feature, how to merge it and everything core with GitHub working on a team. Let's go. Branches are probably the foundation thing, the foundational thing when working with a team and every team chooses their own branch names and branch logic. But I will talk about the most typical scenario, the scenario that we used for our project mostly. And it goes like this. When the repository is created, so for example, let's call it git example and let it be private and we create the repository and it's created with master or main branch. Recently they changed because of political issues, uh, changed the master to main default branch. And I'm fine with that. Let's stick to main, but so you know, it's the same master and main. Then the code is empty and let's create a new Laravel project and push that to this main branch. So let's go with Laravel new Laravel. It will create a subfolder with a project. And then we go into that folder. So CD Laravel, we will do that. Okay, so CD Laravel, and let's push the main branch with just first commit from Laravel. So what do we do? Git init, git add everything, git commit message fresh Laravel, for example, like this. Laravel default git ignore file will ignore whatever we don't need. And then we may or may not choose the main branch. For example, I will copy and paste. So git branch main at the origin of where do we push? I usually copy and paste that and then push to main branch. And our code will reside on the main branch. Now, what branches do we do next? If we refresh that page now in my browser, it contains the code. And usually from that main or master branch, Someone creates a develop branch where the work actually is being done. And it can be done by the same repository owner. So click here and then find or create a branch. Sorry, develop, create branch develop from main, which is identical at this point. So this branch is even with main. And then whenever a developer starts with the project, they clone the repository and check out the develop branch. The main and the master branch is only for deployments to live server, which happens from time to time, but more rarely than everyday work. So now locally, imagine that I'm a developer, I need to switch to a develop branch. And throughout this video, I will use a terminal because there are tools for that, like source tree, like GitHub desktop, like PHP storm even can do that. But I want you to learn the principles and possibly the syntax if you do need to work with terminal. But whatever tool you have, you can look it up in your tool how to do the same thing without terminal more visually or more conveniently for your tool. But I will use terminal. And to provide you with some context around the syntax, I will Google various documentation and Stack Overflow in this case about how to do that. So on your Git version, if you want to check out the remote branch, which is not master and not main, you just do git fetch and git check out the branch. To check what branch are you on, you do git status and you're up to date with origin main. So you're on branch main. Then you do git fetch, which downloads the information about newer changes and newer change is a new branch. And then you do git checkout develop. And now if you do git status, you're on develop branch. Good. So this is where you need to start every new features. For example, you're a new developer. You need to start from develop branch 
And there are two ways how people deal with that, teams deal with that. Some of them work on develop branch directly. Generally, it happens when there's only one developer on a team, or even if there's not a team, it goes strictly on develop branch and then deployed to master when it's ready. But within a team, there is a thing called feature branches. So whenever someone starts a new feature, they need to create their own branch, branching from develop, naming the branch accordingly to the feature. And then whenever they're ready, they need to merge into develop, not into master. Master or main is kind of like a sacred thing where only repository owner, only the person who will deploy the code, they are responsible for master. Usually it's one or a few more senior people on a team. Let's imagine we have a feature to install Laravel Breeze and let's create a branch for that. So git checkout dash b for branch and then your branch name, which is Breeze install, for example, like this switch to a new branch breeze install. So what it does, this command actually does two things, creates the branch and checks out the branch. So switches to the branch. And if we do git status again, we are on branch breeze install. Now let's install the actual breeze package with composer require Laravel breeze. And let's install the breeze, breeze install. Let's run npm install and npm run dev, and then we will commit the result to our branch. Okay, it is successful. And now let's push our branch with new features, but only to our branch, not to develop yet. So what we do, add everything that's new, then commit with message Laravel breeze, for example, and then where do we push to our branch? And since we are on our branch, I think all we need to do is to do git push. No, actually we do need to specify the branch. So this is our syntax. Luckily we can copy paste that. Remote new branch. And now look what happens in the repository. We have three branches now, main, develop and breeze install. Next step is creating a so-called pull request which is a request for other team members, usually your senior, the task owner or whoever, to check that code and approve that it should go to develop branch. Not to live yet, but to develop. So then you go online to GitHub. I'm actually doing that with two accounts. I have Laravel Daily as organization account, and I have my own Povilus as a personal account, which I work with locally. And then I see that Breeze install has recent pushes and GitHub sometimes offers what to create of pull request. So you can click compare and pull request, name the pull request with the feature name, which is Laravel Breeze in this case, and then where to merge from Breeze install, but not to the main to develop instead. It will check if there are any conflicts. And if you see able to merge, we we'll see 52 files changed, generated by Laravel Breeze, and you just create a pull request. And that's it. For a regular developer, the task is over for now until it gets checked by a senior team member. You can assign that specific team member as a reviewer here or assignee, but if you don't, they will probably see the pull requests here. Open Laravel Breeze and check the files. So files changed. And they go through that either visually here, if there's only like one or two files changed, or they would clone down the branch of Laravel Breeze, set it up locally, test it and provide the feedback. And if everything is good, they will click merge pull request, which will merge that branch code to develop code and develop will have the newest version of Laravel Breeze. So that's my overall first long, long lesson of how to set up the project and how to start working. So basically feature branch for every feature, then merge into develop or pull request into develop. And then whoever is senior merges develop to master and then do git pull master on the live server. In the following lesson of the series, we will dive into real situations, what to do next, how to work on two features simultaneously, then what to do if someone changed the code and you do get pushed and it fails. So everything else in the future video, which comes tomorrow. So subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.